These are the Kohen and the Leviim who went up in Zerubbabel, the son of Shelatel, and Yeshua, Seriah, Yeremiah, Ezra, and Emeria, Milka, Heptush, Shekaniah, Rahum, Miramot, Ido, Ginto, Akhtia, Mayimim, Maadaya, Bilga, Shmaya, Yori, Yoria, Sulu, Amoch, Hilkia, and Yadia. These are the leaders, the Kohenim, and their kinsmen during the time of Yeshua. The Leviim, Yeshua, Binu, Kidmael, Sheria, Yuya, Mataina, who was in charge of the songs of thanksgiving, he and his kinsmen, with Bachuya and Uni, their kinsmen, singing antiphonally with them in the service. Yeshua was the father of Yochium. Yochium was the father of Ilashiv. Ilashiv was the father of Yoyoda. Yoyoda was the father of Yonatan. Yonatan was the father of y Yadua. In the days of Yochium, there were the Kohenim, who were the heads of the father's clans of Seria, Miria, and Yermia, Hananiah, and Ezra, Meshalam, of Amria, and Yochanan, and Milko, Yonatan, of Shvanya, Yosef, of Haram, Adna, and Muriot, Helka, of Edo, Zerkia, of Gintan, Mishalam, of Akia, Zerki, of Minium, of Modia, Piltia, of Bilga, Shamu, of Shmaya, Yonatan, of Yorkiv, Matna, of Yodya, Uzi, of Sela, Kala, of Amach, Ever, of Helka, Havsha, of Yadya, Netnel. As for the Leviim, the heads of the fathers' clans in the days of El Yeshiv, Yodya, Yoknan, and Yuda were recorded. Also the Kohenim, up to the reign of Darvish, the Persian, the descendants of Levi, who were the heads of the father's clans, were recorded in the annals until the days of Yochanan, the grandson of Elishiv. The chiefs of the Leviim were Hashbia, Shervia, and Yeshua, the son of Kadmiel, were their kinsmen in an antiphonal choir to praise and give thanks in accordance with the order of David, the man of God. Choir opposite choir. Matia, Bakbuka, Ovdia, Mashalam, Talman, and Okuv were the gatekeepers, who guarded the supplies kept at the gates. This in the days of Yochim, the son of Yeshua, the son of jo Yozadak, in the days of Nechemiah, the governor of Ezra, and the Kohen, the Torah teacher. The dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Leviim from wherever they had settled to bring them to Yeshua. Jerusalem and celebrate the dedication with hymns of thanksgiving and the songs accompanied by cymbals, lutes, and lyres. The trained singers assembled together from the area around Yerushalayim, the villages of Nafti, Biet, Gilgal, and the regions of Giva and Asmabet. The singers had built villages for themselves all around Jerusalem. The Kohen and Leviim first purified themselves, then they purified the people, the gates, and the wall. And after that, I brought the leaders of Yehuda up into the wall and appointed two large choirs to give thanks and to walk in procession. One went to the right of the wall toward the dung gate. After them went Hoshia, half of the leaders of Yehuda, together with Ezra, Ezra, Meshalam, Yehuda, Benjamin, Shmaya, and Yermia. With them were some of the sons of the Kohenim carrying trumpets, trumpets namely Zechariah, the son of Yonatan, the son of Shmaya, the son of Metnia, the son of Machia, the son of Zakur, the son of Asaph, and his kinsmen, Shmaya, Ezreel, Mila, Gilia, Mia, Nathel, Yehuda, and Hanani, who had the musical instruments of David, the man of God. Ezra, the Torah teacher, led them. At the fountain gate, they were straight ahead up the steps of the city of David, where all the walls go up passed above the house of David, and went on to the water gate on the east. The other Thanksgiving choir consisted of half of the people walked on the wall to meet them, with myself following. They went above the tower of the furnaces of the broad wall, 
above the Ephraim gate, by the gate of the old city to the fish gate, the tower of Henanel, the tower of, of the hundred, as far as the sheep gate and halted at the prison gate. Thus stood the two choirs of those giving thanks in the house of God. With myself and half the leaders with me, the Kohenim were included Elikim, Messiah, Menamim, Mekiah, Elina, Zechoria, and Hananiah, carrying trumpets. Also, Messiah, Shemia, Elzar, Uzi, Yokanan, Milkah, Elam, and Ezer. The singers sang loudly, directed by Yitzkiah. With joy they offered great sacrifices that day, for God had made them celebrate with great joy. The women and children too rejoiced, so that the celebrating in Jerusalem could be heard far off. At that time, the men were appointed to be in charge of the storerooms for supplies, contributions, first fruits, and tents, and to gather into them from the fields belonging to the cities and portions prescribed by the Torah for the Kohenim and Libaim. For Yehuda rejoiced over the Kohenim and the Libaim who took their possession, carrying out the duties of their God and the duties of purification, as also did the singers and gatekeepers in accordance with the order of David and of Shlomo his son. For back in the days of David and Asaph, where had... There had been leaders of those singing the songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. So in the days of Zerubbabel, in the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave portions to the singers and gatekeepers as required daily. They set aside portion for the Levaim, who in turn set aside for portion the descendants of Aaron. It was also at this time, when they were reading the scroll of Moshe, that it was found written that no Amani or Moabi may enter into the assembly of God because they did not supply the people of Israel with food or water, but hired Balim against them to put a curse on them, although our God turned the curse into a blessing. On hearing the Torah, they separated Israel from everyone of mixed ancestry. Also, prior to this, Elishiv the Kohenim, who had been put in charge of the storage rooms in the house of God, who was related by marriage to Dov- Tovia, had prepared for him a large room where formerly... They had stored the grain offerings, frankincense, equipment of the tents, grain, wine, and olive oil, ordered to be given to the Levim, singers, gatekeepers, and the contributions for the Kohenim. During all this time, I wasn't, pres- I wasn't present in Jerusalem, because in the 32nd year of Akshashati, king of Baval, I went to see the king. Then, after some time had passed, I asked permission to from the king and returned to Jerusalem, where I found out about about the terrible thing Elishiv had done to Tobia by preparing a room for him in the courtyards of the house of our God. I was so furious that I threw all Tobias, Tobias' household goods out of the room. Then, at my order, they cleansed the room, and I brought the equipment of the house of God, the grain offerings, and the frankincense. I also learned that the portions of the Levim had not been given to them, so that the Levim and the singers were who were supposed to be doing, doing the work, had deserted, each one to his own farm. I disputed with the leaders, demanding why in the house of God, why in the house of God was abandoned. I gathered the Levim together and restored them to their stations. And then all Yehuda brought the tenth of grain, wine, and olive oil to the storerooms. To supervise the storerooms, I appointed Shilamiah, the Kohen, Zadok, the Torah teacher, and from the Levim, Padiah, assisting them was Hanan, the son of Zakur, the son of Mataniah. These were the cons- for they were considered reliable. Their duty was to make the distributions to their kinsmen. May God remember me for this. Don't wipe out my good deeds for which I have done in the house of my God for his service. During this time, I saw Yehuda. Some people were treading wine presses on Shabbat, also bringing in heaps of grain and loading donkeys with it. Likewise, wine, grape, and figs, and all kinds of loads, and they were bringing them into Jerusalem on the day of Shabbat. On, that day, on the day when they were planning to sell the food, I warned them not to do so. There, there were also living there people from Zor, who brought in fish of all kinds of goods and sold them on Shabbat to the people of Yehuda and even in Jerusalem. I disputed with the nobles of Yehuda, demanding of them. What is this terrible thing you are doing, profaning the day of Shabbat? Didn't your ancestors do this, and didn't our God bring all this disaster on us to this city? Yet you are bringing still more fury against Israel by profaning Shabbat. 
So when the gates of Jerusalem began to grow dark before Shabbat, I ordered that the doors be shut. I ordered that they did not that they not be reopened until after Shabbat. I put some of my servants in charge of the gates to see that none of the loads may be brought on on Shabbat. The merchants and sellers of all kinds of goods spent the night outside Jerusalem once or twice until I warned them, Why are you spending the night by the wall? Do it again, and I'll use force against you. From then on, they stopped coming on Shabbat. Then I ordered the Levitan to purify themselves and come on guard at the gates in order to keep the day of Shabbat holy. Matt, my God, remember this too for me and have mercy on me in keeping with the greatness of your grace. Also during this time, I saw the Judeans who had married women from Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab, and their children who spoke half in the language of Ashdod and couldn't speak in the language of the Judeans spoke, but only in the language of each people. I disputed with them and cursed them. I beat some of them and pulled out their hair. Then I made them swear by God, you will not give your daughters as wives for their sons or take their daughters as wives for your sons or for yourselves. Wasn't it by doing these things that Shlomo, king of Israel, sinned? There was no king like him among many nations, and his God loved him, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, the foreign women caused him to, even him, to sin. Are we to give in to you and let you continue in this very great evil, breaking faith with our God by marrying foreign women? One of the sons of Yoyoda, the son of Elishiv, the Kohen Haggadol, had become a son-in-law to the Senvala, the Haroni. So I drove him out of my presence. My God, remember them, because they have defiled the office of the Kohen in the covenant of the Kohen, the Levim. Thus I cleansed them of everything foreign. And I had the Kohenim and the Levim resume their duties, each one in his appointed in his appointed task. I also made provisions for the delivery of wood at stated times, and for the first fruits. My God, remember me favorably.